My ex and my best friend are getting married on Saturday and it's tearing me apart. My ex proposed some time ago and then I got pregnant and had a miscarriage. After that happened, I found out I could never get pregnant again and I fell into a deep depression. We broke off the engagement because he wanted kids after we got married. Him and my best friend got together soon afterward and he got her pregnant. I confided in her about how much it broke my heart to lose him because I couldn't have kids, but then she got with him. I know he still has feelings for me and he tries to be mean or avoid me when we see each other. I wish both of them well, especially her since she seems to genuinely care for him. But I hate that I am supposed to act like everything is okay and like I approve of their union. They're getting married in two days. They invited me to the wedding. I don't think I can do it. I'm falling apart on the inside every day. He was the one and now he's getting away. It's a big betrayal to see them together but I just can't seem to get over the feelings I have for him. I think he's making a big mistake marrying her but he's in too deep at this point. Take care of yourself first. You do not have to do anything that makes you uncomfortable or perpetuates these feelings. Your mental health is a priority. You are a priority. Don't go just because you feel like you have to support them. Don't go to the wedding. You don't need that kind of drama or pain in your life. You do not need to be there to show support or approval. I'm surprised that you are maintaining your friendship. I don't think I would have the courage or desire to in your place, and that's really okay. When you get engaged you're promising your partner to pledge to be with them for better or for worse. A miscarriage is part of the worse. So is infertility. Your ex is a terrible person. Your best friend is also a terrible person. I don't see how she thinks it's okay to marry a man who dumped you because you're infertile. Best of luck to her though, because he may cut and run on her too when things get hard. Block them on your socials. Don't go to the wedding. Book yourself a spa day or something nice that'll get you away from your phone. These aren't good people. They aren't your friends. Go make new ones. They invited you to their wedding. Are they fucking narcissists? By rubbing it in your face. Why on God's green earth are you still in contact with them? Stop torturing yourself and block their screwed up asses. That's not your best friend. He's not the one. They are both trash who have no respect for you. Dump them both. Forever. But I hate that I am supposed to act like everything is okay and like I approve of their union. You don't have to act like you are okay with it. Why? They invited you to the wedding so that your presence will absolve them of the shitty way their relationship started. You don't have to do that. I know he still has feelings for me and he tries to be mean or avoid me when we see each other. He was the one and now he's getting away. Nah. Your one wants you no matter what and won't be mean to you. Cut those two assholes out of your life. Both your ex and should be ex best friend are shitty people. Cut them both off and move on with your life. Basic rules and etiquette of friendship is don't fuck around with your best friend's partner. And she did. Fuck them both. Why are they in any way, shape or form, still in your life? You aren't supposed to act like everything is okay and you don't have to approve of their union. Fuck them. Who is telling you that you have to be okay and approve of this? They. Betrayed. You. For your sake, please just cut them off and realize the monsters they are. Don't make excuses. Your ex and ex best friend are selfish monsters and you need to realize this. Listen you do not have to pretend to be okay. Fuck both of them and I really hope you mean ex best friend cause baby that is not a friend. You confided in them about your feelings and they still show no regard for how you feel. Honestly I wanna tell you to beat that hoe ass but idk what kind of person you are you might not get down like that, but you deserve better in love both romantic and platonic. I know it's Easter said than done but you need to detach yourself from these people because to me it seems they don't really care about you. I'm honestly thinking something must have been going on between them while you were dating your ex. Don't go to the wedding. Cut them out of your life so that you can heal. Concentrate on being single. Learn to embrace it. Find other friends. Learn new things. Find comfort in your own company. There is no one. There are many people we can love and partner with. Their marriage and pregnancy may very well be a mistake. In time you will have no emotions about either of them. Until you're at that point don't have any contact with them at all. The one, wouldn't leave you over infertility. A, best friend, wouldn't get with your ex. It's perfectly reasonable for you to remove both of these people from your life, neither deserve you. You don't owe them your approval and you are better off without them. They don't seem right in the head. 
He left you without considering any other option and she is cool with starting a family with a guy that seems to only be interested in pregnancy. Stay away. They both sound like horrible people that deserve each other. You deserve to find someone who treats you with the respect and love that you should have. Cut them off. They are both horrible people. Why are you still friendly and making excuses? F. If he can put his needs ahead of yours and marry your best friend, he wasn't the one. Don't go. She's not your friend. He is nothing to you but a jerk who showed you who he was before you married him. Surround yourself with better people. You may think he was, the one, but I promise that someday you'll see him for what he really is and find someone so much better. Don't go to the wedding. End contact with them. But, and this is super important, you have to stop telling yourself that he's making a huge mistake and he is meant, and wants, to be with you. For one, that is not your call, but for two, what does that get you, except to continue the fantasy of a relationship that doesn't exist? Your relationship is over. Do yourself a favor and stop waiting in the wings for him to realize his mistake. Go take care of yourself. Dot and open yourself up to being with some who chooses you, always. I'm sorry that you're going through this. They're both pretty terrible people. But you will get through this. Cut them both out. Neither of them cares about you like you care about them. Your ex in particular is mean to you and tries to avoid you. I doubt this is to cover secret feelings of love. He's just one of those people who puts a woman's worth on her ability to reproduce probably. Ghost them both. Stop torturing yourself. Don't go to the wedding and you should consider cutting them both out of your life. You need to heal from this and that's not going to be possible if you hang around them. Fuck them and move along. Both are looking out for themselves and each other first. You're like 3rd, 4th or like 10th on their list. For the sake of your own well-being I truly feel as if you should not attend the wedding. It will be absolutely unbearable for you. I suggest that on their wedding day you do the things that make you feel good either with a friend or by yourself. Let yourself cry if you need to. I know that helps me sometimes. Do what is best for you on that day. Just remember, even if you don't think so, everything is going to be okay. It will take time hard work and growth but you will get there. I wish you the best of luck. Stay strong. Yay this is pretty shocking. Do not feel obligated to go. What they did was cruel and ridiculous. I hope you find happiness, I believe you will. Don't go to that wedding for your own sake. They knew how you felt, they just expect you to be happy for them and show everyone else there that you're okay with this. Take care of yourself first, you don't need them to make you feel any worse. Your best friend is shady as fuck. Marrying and having a child with the man you love and almost had a child with. That's grimy as fuck. I wouldn't be able to go to the wedding either and that's okay if you don't. You focus on you and your healing. There's no need to torture yourself and go to the wedding, and no need to support their union when you clearly don't. You're allowed to be bitter and hurt over this, and I suggest counseling for the grief of the loss of your child and relationship. Cut these jerks off. Sleep in peace knowing that your dirtbag ex-best friend took the bullet for you by marrying an awful man. Imagine how much damage he will do to her over their lives, you are free. Please focus on yourself and your well-being for now. Take a couple of steps back and take some time to heal from this. It feels like a big betrayal, but you're going to get through it. It would also be ideal if you distance yourself from them. Wishing you the best. Honestly there are other ways to have had kids with you if he had been serious about you. I would try to put some distance and move on. You need to take him off the pedestal. Don't think about him being the one that got away, but instead remember that he left you in a terrible time in your life when you needed him most, and then got together with your best friend instead. It's not just insensitive, it's heartless. I have always thought that was kinda strange. I would never date or even get with a woman my buddies or buddy has got with. It's kinda odd to be around my buddies, and they tagged my girlfriend, no thanks. Gross. He's not the one, he would have stuck with you through all of that if he was. Losing people that don't belong is a necessary thing sometimes. The people that care about you will show it, the ones who don't will do the same. Sorry to hear that. He was never your friend as it seems. That's not your best friend. A best friend would not do that. You cannot allow that weight to hold heavier than it should. They are an acquaintance the assholants who did you dirty. Take some time to remember what makes you happy, then do your best to give yourself that happiness. Best of luck on your self-love journey. Yeah, hell no.
Your friend violated the friend code. If he was the one he wouldn't be marrying your best friend. Don't put him on a pedestal. Cut contact with these people forever or for years but you need time to heal without them in the picture. Just to reiterate, as others have said, he isn't the one, and she isn't your best friend. It hurts to lose people you thought were that important to your life's path, but you deserve better. Better things and people are coming. You need to take care of yourself and make sure that you can enjoy those good things when they do come along, I promise they will. Do something nice for yourself that day, and definitely don't go. Kickstart your recovery by treating yourself as nicely as you deserve and cutting out negative people. Gonna sound really petty but the asshole in me would just show up and fuck it up. Why would you even consider attending? Anyone asking you to buck up and make nice about this situation needs to be more kind to you, and that includes you. Be more kind to yourself. Give yourself some grace and compassion, and don't worry about supporting your ex-fiancé and, hopefully, ex-friend. Look out for yourself and your own needs. I wouldn't go to that wedding. I think you would hate every minute of it and regret going. There are much better ways to spend a weekend. I'm amazed that they invited you. Honestly, there's bad looks and awkward situations, and then there's these two inviting you to their wedding after all this shit they brought into your life. Only an idiot would go to that wedding in your position. Don't be an idiot. Um, the friend. Why does she think it's okay to get with a guy that you had such a serious relationship with? Maybe you should distance yourself from both of them for a while. Seeing them together will just give you negative emotions. Skeptical smiley face. Don't go. Why would you? These people are kinda scummy tbh. And weddings are kinda lame. Why blow up your Saturday listening to speeches and eating overcooked chicken and soggy salad? Give yourself a pass. It ain't worth it. Don't go to the wedding. Don't communicate with them in any way. They know the deal. I have sort of been in this place. Do not go. It's okay sometimes to not be the bigger person, especially when people you love don't accommodate your feelings and cause you immense pain and hurt. Put yourself first. Tune them out of your life. You deserve better. You deserve a better best friend and a better partner if you want one in the future. Sending you strength through these difficult times. Your friend needs to learn about the friend code. They want your blessing to clear their own guilty consciences. You have no obligation to forgive either of them any more than you do to attend their wedding if you did. I cannot imagine the pain you have gone through to lose the a child, the ability to and the person you love like this. But this was a betrayal nonetheless, your health and your heart need to heal I can only imagine seeing them together will make you feel or how long it will set you back in your return to normalcy. Focus on you, you will be happy again, but those two can never make you happy again. Please don't go, you don't have to, you're allowed to your pain, please don't add more unnecessary pain to yourself by attending, show yourself the kindness they are not showing you. My heart aches for you, honestly, you'll only have the chance to heal from this pain if you cut contact from them and everyone that enables them and invalidates your pain, you'll see you'd be starting the heal, keeping them in your life is picking the wound and won't heal properly. Sunk cost be damned. They invited you to their wedding. Exploding head. Do not go. Those two narcissists deserve each other. Seriously, screw them. Stop communication, they don't deserve to have you in their life. Edit. You posted 21 days ago that you had never been to an OBGYN before. This makes me question the authenticity of your post. Sorry.